Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today we're going to do some fun things with the Pie Graph tool, all the while keeping the data editable. The Graph tool is actually several tools for many different kinds of graphs. I'll use the Pie Graph and click once on the artboard to enter exact dimensions, or simply just drag out approximately where you want your chart. When you do that, a mini spreadsheet pops up where you enter your data. I'm just typing in the numbers, then hitting the tab key to advance to the next cell. Click the check mark when you're done, and close the box. The color scheme is, well, actually there is no color scheme, but you can change the colors of the individual wedges by selecting them with the direct selection tool, just as you would with any other object. I'm going to remove the black stroke around all of them as well. Even though I've changed the color, I can still edit the data by going up to Object, Graph, Data, and I'll type in some new numbers. You can apply graphic styles to the graph as well. Here's a drop shadow or some line and scribble effects, and still the data will remain editable. You can apply a 3D effect to a graph. Just go up to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, click the Preview button, and then rotate this cube in space. I'll make it look like it's lying on its side. Then I'll go down to the shading section and add another light source to brighten it up. If you see this banding on the edges, increase the blend steps to smooth it out. Let's say you have a lot of graphs that you want done this same way. You can speed up your workflow by making your own graphic style simply by dragging the graph into the graphic styles panel. Now when you make a new graph, and I've just skipped ahead, just click on your style to apply that same 3D effect. We can use transparency in the 3D effect, but there's a trick to it. First, select the graph and then lower the opacity in the transparency panel. Next, and this is the trick, you need to group the graph. You'll notice that in the transparency panel, it now reads 100%, but you can ignore that. Now I'll just apply the last 3D effect I used under the Effect menu, and there's your transparent 3D graph. There's a button at the very bottom of the 3D Options dialog called Draw Hidden Faces that does just that. It draws the surfaces that would normally be hidden from view. As before, you can go back and edit the graph's data under the Object menu. To edit the 3D effect itself, click on it in the Appearance panel and make your changes from there. Illustrator's graph tool is quite useful for visualizing data, but the results aren't terribly exciting to look at. A few simple tricks can go a long way in making your graphs much more interesting.